A family in Revit indicates a specific type of object. For instance, a door family would indicate a door that you're placing in your project. A window family would indicate a window. Other kinds of families would be tables, chairs, sinks, toilets. All families, all objects which have three-dimensional properties and can be loaded into a Revit environment. In this exercise, we're going to discuss how to load specific door and window families into our project. Underneath the Architecture tab, we can find two separate commands. One's the door command, and the other's the window command. In Revit, both of these commands do almost the exact same thing. As far as placing doors and windows go, they might as well be the same element because they both are treated and act the same way when it comes time to place them. That being stated, though, by executing the door command, and if you move your mouse up and underneath Architecture, select on Door, you'll get a list of all the doors which are currently loaded into our project. So select on the picture of the door on the Type Selector list, and we'll see there's currently two different main types of doors loaded in our project. One is are in metric, and the other are in imperial units. These we might use later on in the project, but I do see a door or two that we could use that aren't in the project at the moment. So to load these in, move your mouse over and select on Load Family off of the ribbon. When you do this, there'll be a group of folders showing on the screen, and we want to double click on the Doors folder. Now click once to highlight the very top door on the list. When you do that, you can then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to arrow down and begin to see the selection of the different types of doors that we can load into our project environment. Now most of these will execute just perfectly whenever we first execute the door command. I do want to point out that there is a type of door though that we can load into the project that won't execute quite the way you might expect. And that's any door that starts with the words curtain wall. Curtain wall doors only work inside of curtain walls. They don't work inside of regular Revit walls. Vice versa can be said as well. A regular Revit door, which works just fine inside of normal Revit walls, do not work correctly inside of curtain walls. So you always need to be careful as to which door that you load into your project so that you know that this door will place inside of this type of wall. In this instance, I want to load two separate types of doors. One will be a curtain wall door so that we can get in and out of our building. So move your mouse down and pick on Curtain Wall Storefront Double and select on Open. This is now loaded in a curtain wall door into our project environment. Something that you'll find though, is if we look underneath properties, those curtain wall doors do not show up underneath properties. Curtain wall doors are actually special kinds of doors. They're a kind of door that will not show up underneath the door pull down. They show up underneath a different location. Now let's go ahead and load in a different type of door, the kind that loads in the walls, and we'll see it on our pull down menu over here on the side. Select on Load Family, double click on the doors. Now the kind of door that I want to load in will be an overhead door sectional. So select on Overhead Sectional and click on Open. You'll now notice that Overhead Sectional is available underneath Properties here on the Type Selector list. Just an everyday average Revit door. The one thing that's different about it though is it's the type of door that is an overhead door. You could drive cars or trucks or equipment in and out from it. This will be the kind of door that ultimately we'll be placing over here in this outbuilding that we have beside our main structure. For right now, we're just going to leave these doors alone, so hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command. Now that we've loaded in two kinds of doors, one for curtain walls and one that'll go into a regular wall, I want to load in now a window that we can start to place into this outbuilding structure here as well. And I'd also like to place that window here inside of our main building structure. To do that, move the mouse up and then select on the command for window. You'll notice that there's an option here and it'll say fixed. This is the type of window that's currently loaded in the project. If we want to load some more, once again, we could come over here to load family and we could click on the word load family to load these directly in. But I want to show you another spot where we can load families into a project. Underneath the Insert tab, there's a button there called Load Family. And this does the exact same thing. The big difference is, is whenever you execute it from underneath Insert, 
It will just load that family in and not try to place that family automatically. Click Load Family. Scroll down. Double click on Windows. And in this case, I want to load a double hun window in. Now, before you double click on it or click on Open, I just want to say that if you click on it once, you'll get a preview of it just like you did with the doors. Also, another type that's here is double hun with trim. If you click on Double Hunt with Trim, you'll see there's trim now all the way around this window. This works the same with doors. This is actually the way that I usually recommend adding trim to a door or a window, is picking one that already has the trim around the outside edge of it. It makes certain that the door or window has the right size trim going around the exterior edge, as opposed to not having it and then trying to place it later, which usually ends up being a lot more work. In this case, I think I will choose the double hum with trim and click on open to load this into the project environment. I'm going to hit escape in order to get out of the original window command that I'd had activated before going to insert and clicking on load family. Now the thing to remember is, is whenever you're going to be loading these different door and window families in, there's two different spots that you can do it from. The first spot is going to be from underneath insert and then load family. And the other spot that you can load them in from is by executing the command themselves. So in this instance, architecture, door, and then choosing on load family. 